What's up, Wing Nation? It's your boy Justy Gas here at Wing HQ. Before anything else, gusto natin is shout out yung mga favorite nating supporters. So shout out Sir Anthony Apilado, Sir Mikey Ravensay, Sir Albert Alejandro, Sir Ramil Mendoza, Leyland Mix, Joel Destacamento, Mech Moto Vlog, and Ranguten Vlogs. So uh, thank you guys for the support and uh, for watching. What's up, Wayne Nation? It's your boy Justy Gas, and I'm here now with our very own UFC Filipino fighter, Sir Mark Nugan. Oh, oh, happy to be here. Yeah. So we are here to talk about protein powders because we get a lot of questions about that Wayne Nation. So, sana today may educate namin kayo, may share namin yung knowledge namin sa inyo about protein powders. So there's a ton of different kinds of protein powders. Um, there are a lot of questions on which ones are the best for you. Um, there's whey protein, there's casein protein, there's weight gainer proteins, and uh, plant-based proteins. So different types of proteins for people with different goals. Um, so we want to talk and uh, go over which proteins are the best for you and for your individual goals. And just to add, Sir Mark, uh, I'm not sure if you've mentioned soy protein. Mm. And so protein, collagen yes. protein. That's right. So I think that's six proteins. So lots of different types. I'll start with the first one. I like to take whey protein, which is pretty standard protein. It's, it's a very lean protein, um, easily digested protein. Um, whey is actually found in yogurt. Um, the liquid that you see at the top of yogurt, that's whey. And um, Whey protein is very easily digested and absorbed by your body. I'll take one to two protein shakes of whey during the day. And because I have weight requirements uh, for MMA, I like whey protein. It works well for me. So if Sir Mark's version is the English version, Wei Nation, let me talk to you in Tagalog. <laughs> yeah, maybe must ma explain to you really if I speak in Tagalog. So uh, whey protein is actually also my favorite supplement. There's only one supplement that I can take. It will be whey protein. Uh, whey protein is very macro dense, uh, protein dense. Uh, with one scoop of protein has 25 grams of protein, and it's only around 130 calories. And if you're trying to cut weight, uh, it will be very beneficial for you Definitely. because you can reach your protein requirement easily, habang hindi ka lumalagpas sa calorie allowance mo. Or very low in fat. Yes. Very also fat very low in fat. Low in fat. Fat has the highest calorie amount. Uh, so that's it, Wing Nation. Uh, whether you're trying to gain weight or trying to lose weight, whey protein is very is highly recommended for you because it's very macro dense. Again, really low in calories. Yes. So if you naman yung siyos mukhang magain ng weight, whey protein is beneficial dahil it's really hard to gain weight and reach your daily protein requirement. In my experience, when I try to eat a lot, I get so full or na bubusog ako na mabilis. I don't have any more the appetite to eat more meat yeah, or yeah. whatever sources of protein. But if you have a protein shake, yeah. you know it's really convenient. Yeah. That, that's a huge thing, you know. Um, that experts recommend that after working out, you should have protein to build your muscles within a two-hour window right yeah. after working out. So, you know. If you're on the go and you're traveling and you're going back to the office or you're just stuck in Manila traffic, you know, a protein shake is very convenient and helps hitting that two hour window right after you're working out versus, you know, cooking a steak or getting some grilled chicken or something like that. So there is a huge uh, issue with the convenience and uh, protein shakes. It's easier to put in your stomach. Yes, yeah. definitely. Uh, Wiki Nation, so now let's talk about casein protein. Have you ever taken uh, casein protein? Yeah, I took casein protein when I was in high school, so yes. a little over 10 years ago. Um, casein protein is a slow digested protein, so usually they recommend uh, casein protein for nighttime use because it'll feed your muscles while you're sleeping. Because when you're sleeping, it's 
you know, a, a normal, a regular sleep, seven to nine hours. So during that time, your muscles are actually fasted. So that's the benefit of casein protein, casein protein, that your muscles are being fed and uh, the protein is being absorbed while you're sleeping. And besides waking nation, uh, your muscle natin, it can only absorb so much protein yes. at a time. So, ang kagandahan sa casein protein for like up to around 8 hours nandun siya sa system mo. So, continuous magpagpagpasok niya sa muscle mo. So, yung tinatawag natin protein synthesis or yung pagbuild ng muscle ng body natin, nagpaprolong natin yun. So, yes. yun yung kagandahan. Actually, may mga supplement or may, may mga kind ng whey protein yun nga yung tinatawag natin na mga protein blends na magkakasama na yan. Na may whey protein, may soy protein, and casein protein in one supplement. Yes. So, kasi nakukuha mo yung benefits ng different kinds of free protein. Yeah. I think casein protein is probably my second favorite protein. Yeah. You know, I, I like whey first, casein second, and sometimes I'll mix the two if training is really hard and I want, you know, better recovery uh, during the night. All right, Wingy Nation, so after our whey protein and casein protein will be our plant protein. So we also have other plant protein other than this, pero ito na yung papakita natin sa inyo. What do you think about plant protein, sir? I like plant proteins. Um, I don't take much plant protein, but from my understanding, um, plant proteins are great for people with uh, sensitive guts, for people that, uh, you know, regular other proteins, they uh, may irritate their stomach. Plant proteins are uh, good for people with those problems. Yeah, for those who are have sen sensitivity to dairy. Yeah. Yeah. And I guess for those people na medyo gusto nila yung natural. Yes, yes, yes. Whey protein is natural, but I think if you want more of a plant-based diet, I guess, you know, that is very popular these days, whether it's a vegan diet or vegetarian diet, then plant-based protein would be the protein yeah. for you. That's right, for our vegan friends. Yes, yes, exactly. This is the protein for you. All right, Weighing Nation, so the last kind of protein that we're gonna talk about today will be the weight gainers. Yes, yeah. weight gainer protein. For those of you that are looking to bulk up, you know, so for people who are getting into bodybuilding or just wanna gain weight and uh, gain a lot of muscle mass, these proteins are overall just much higher in calories, so they have a, they have a lot of uh, extra components in them. Still natural, of course, but a lot of extra calories that are gonna help you put on the muscle and put on that uh, size. And you can gain some fat with weight gainers, so you yeah. do have to be careful and make sure you're uh, doing enough cardio and just be aware of that. And as we all know, Wigging Nation, hindi naman tayo lahat have large or big appetite. Yes. Right? Sometimes it can be hard to eat a lot of food. Mm. That's a challenge. That can be a challenge too, especially if you are required to eat like 3,000, 4,000 calories yeah. a day. That is no joke, Wigging Nation. So sometimes, uh, uh, drinking or having a weight gainer is very helpful. No, definitely. Yeah. If you can crank out 500 calories in one shake, you know, versus, you know, a whole giant chicken and rice meal and you're so full versus, you know, a shake this big and just pounding it and getting it done because you're looking to hit your calorie count, then weight gainer shakes are the right shake for you. Speaking of uh, weight gainers, Medyo, palagi ko na-encounter Waking Nation ngayon yung tinatawag nila na lean bulking. Have you heard of that thing? I haven't thing? heard of lean bulking actually. <laughs> I've been hearing it a lot uh, okay. recently. But lean bulking is very simple. It, it only means you're trying to gain as much muscle but trying to gain as few fat as possible. That's, yeah. Okay, right. okay. Well, that makes sense. Yeah. So putting, so clean calories yes. and low, I guess low, uh, low fat calories. Yes. I think in order for you to achieve that weighing nation, just try to gain weight slowly. Yes, yes. Because if you try to gain weight fast, for sure, you're gonna gain a lot of fat as well. Yeah, no, for sure. Fitness, fitness is always a slow and steady yes. journey and you have to put in the time and be patient with your body and, and, uh, and gains and goals because it doesn't happen overnight. So, so weighing nation, if you're trying to lean bulk, I suggest na mag try lang kayo mag gain ng weight around one or a maximum of two pounds a month. Because if you go beyond that, it's pretty impossible to gain more than two pounds of muscle. Naturally, weighing nation yes, at least. Yes, naturally, naturally at least. Yes, yes, exactly. So, yon, uh, just try to gain weight slowly, steady, and maybe if your calorie maintenance is around 3,000, don't eat 4,000 calories. Yeah. 
uh, maybe just eat around 3,500 calories. So, wag sobra sobra yung calorie surplus. Yeah, I think that's that's true. When I was building muscle in high school and I was looking to to grow my body and become stronger, I remember my goal was always to get to gain about 10 pounds every single year of clean quality muscle. And I did that consistently from my freshman year of high school all the way up until my senior year. And you know, any more than that, your the quality of muscle is gonna is gonna suffer. And For sure, you're gonna gain muscle as well, but the amount of fat that you're gonna gain is exactly. Exactly. And then at the end, if you gain a lot of fat, you're gonna have to cut back on that fat just to get that uh, lean, nice muscle afterwards. You know, so it's you might as well do it properly and slowly and steadily. All For else. someone like you, who's working out every day, twice a day, what is your calorie maintenance? Right now, I am losing weight for my next fight, so I'm doing 1,750 calories a day, which isn't much, and I'm working out uh, twice a day. Waking Nation, for someone like him who works out really intense, he's only taking around 17,500. Uh, 17, 1,700. I wish, I wish 17,000. <laughs> I wish. Yeah. Imagine that, Waking Nation. To our Waking friends, mga ka Waking Nation dyan na nagsusubok mag lose ng weight. Imagine that. He's a male, right? UFC fighter, right? And only eating 1,750 calories. But if you're trying to maintain your weight, Mm. How much calories do you think it should take? If I'm working out once a day, or even twice a day, probably, probably two five. Two five. Probably about two five for me because I lose, I lose a lot and I sweat a lot, so probably about two five. Calorie counting is important, guys. Very important to understand um, all the calories that you consume during the day, and that really is the best way to lose weight efficiently. To know your macros and. Uh, how much to burn for your yes. body. And also, Waking Nation, in my experience, nung nag-start ako mag-measure ng calories ko, mag-track ng macros ko, I became more knowledgeable with my food. Yes. Uh, yung nutrient facts niya, how much protein it has. Even with whey protein, I started to appreciate it more. Yes, yes. Because I found out that it has so little fat, so little, fat, so little calories, but a lot of protein. Yeah, exactly. And that's exactly what you need. So. Not all protein, or not all supplements are created equal, yes, or not all food are created equal. Hey, Waking Nation. So, part two of our shout outs Johnny Salvante, Franz Anjeles, Gretchen Camposano, and Inigo Sison. Thank you for the support. Shout out to Sir Nile Harold Managa, uh, Carl Angelo Velasquez, Enzo Nobles, and Janus. Lim, so shout out to you guys. So Waking Nation, na share na natin sa inyo kung ilan yung calories na kinakain ni Sir Mark Mugen. So ngayon is share naman natin sa inyo Waking Nation kung ano ba yung height at kung ano yung weight ni Sir Mark. Just in case na you want to look like him, yung physique niya. So Sir, oh, what's your height? I am five foot eight, 172 centimeters, and my weight is right now I'm. 74 kilograms. In pounds? In pounds, that's about 165. So there you go, Waking Nation. If you want to have a physique like Sir Mark and you are 5'8", you have to be at around 165. Right? Yeah. And my fat. My fat percentage is probably under 10% right now. But when I'm getting closer to the fight, I, I get as low as, as 6. You usually don't want to get below 5 because that's... I think they do that in bodybuilding, but you can't really maintain that, you know, because that, that's just for one day, for one show. And besides, you're an athlete, it's about performance. Yes, yes, exactly. Right? So you need to, in order for you to perform, you need some fat you in your body. You need some fat, exactly, for fuel. So. I'm aware of the Waking Nation because I was able to bodybuilding competition. And the day of my competition, I talaga, mahina talaga ako. All right, and final closing statements, guys, from both of us on proteins. Um, my recommendation would have to be whey protein. For, uh, for those of you that are looking to start your fitness journey, whether you are a guy, a girl, um, looking to gain some quality muscle or lose muscle, and uh, just elevate your level of fitness. I would recommend whey protein. The fat grams are very low, sometimes even zero. 
and you get delicious flavors like birthday cake, um, calories are low, only 110 calories per serving, zero grams of fat on this one, so this is a very quality protein, guys. And, um, you know, if you happen to have digestive issues, um, you can always try plant proteins as well. But for me, I would start with whey. For my recommendation, as I always say, you can try all the whey protein dito sa waking dahil lahat naman niya na try ko na. At actually, waking nation, ang pinakamahalaga lang talaga sa lahat. For me, ha, ang pinaka nagbibase talaga ako sa taste. And lahat naman yan quality as long as makikita niyan sa waking dahil dumadaan niya sa quality control. So far, lahat naman ito na try ko na. Well, if you are um, vegan or gusto mo yung medyo natural, medyo sensitive ka to dairy, or you might wanna try the plant protein. Pero lahat yan, whether you're trying to lose weight, trying to gain weight, whether lalaki ka or babae, parehas lang po tayo ng i-take na whey protein. Sa totohanan lang. Nagkakatalo na lang po tayo sa amount. At for example, if you are someone who's lighter, mas konti rin. Again, yung usual recommendation is 1 gram per pound of body weight. So, technically, well, kung mas magaan ka, babae ka, mas konti rin yung kailangan mong i-take. But actually, the brand, the different brands or the different kinds, Lahat tayo, pwede na yan natin i-take. Ang masuggest ko na lang sa inyo, piliin nyo yung favorite nyong uh, flavor. Tapos, pwede nyong i-try lahat yan. And hana, makikita nyo, doon nyo madi-discover kung ano yung pinaka mag work sa inyo or magiging favorite nyo yung nation. Alright, Waking Nation, our third part of our shoutout. Shoutout to Sir Raymond Katimbang, Sir Ram Jose, Sir Jocel Pornobi, Sir Carl Jasper de la Cruz, Nathaniel Rapinan, James Soriano, Fred Palangge, yeah. Brian Zuniga. Sorry if I butchered your names, guys. Um, thank you for the support on the channel and uh, good luck with all your fitness goals. So, guys, um, to close, there are a ton of supplements out there and there are so many brands out there but you got to make sure that you get them from a trusted source so we definitely recommend uh, waking supplements lots of great flavors all great companies and um, the labels are accurate that's another thing there are a lot of there are a lot of supplement companies out there where the labels are not accurate and they say 25 grams of protein but they only have 20 sometimes you know so things are great here supplements are great find a great flavor that you like and uh, enjoy the process. So that's it, Waking Nation. Hopefully, may natutunan kayo sa aming segment with Sir Mark Mugen. So thank you very much. Uh, let us know your thoughts, Waking Nation. Comment down below, like this video, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you will be updated to our next uploads. And don't forget to download the Waking Supplements uh, mobile app. Till next time, Waking Nation. Biceps out. Boom. Oh.